is steeped in a series of historical narratives from the Iroquois Nation to the terminus of the Erie Canal and the westward expansion that emanated from there, electrical power, the history of industry, American architectural civil rights movement, the American arts and craft movement, the Underground Railroad. This place definitely matters. <laughs> I think Buffalo, New York is the prototypical story of urban America. You walk through the neighborhoods and you see everything from Native American culture, still evident here, all the way up through the most modern kinds of colleges and universities and knowledge economy business. This is the story of, of America, of urban America. We always talk about the three great American architects, H.H. Uh, Richardson, Louis Sullivan, and Frank Lloyd Wright. And Buffalo is only one of two cities in the world to have buildings by these three architects. You know, Richardson Psychiatric Center, Louis Sullivan's Guarantee Building, and the multitude of homes that Frank Lloyd Wright built here. But in addition to that, we've got buildings by Daniel Burnham, by Richard Upjohn, by Eero Saarinen, Skid Mowings and Merrill, Minori Yamasaki. So, you know, we've got an incredible amount of great buildings. Buffalonians are so proud of the architecture that we have. There, there isn't a single significant building that does not have a whole friends group associated with it whose job it is to make it look as, just as good as the day it was built. You don't visit Buffalo and look at things that once were wonderful and just aren't anymore. They're still wonderful. undisputed that Olmsted was the greatest landscape architect that this country has ever seen. And Buffalo has the most extensive Olmsted Park system in the country that covers virtually every corner of the city and connected by incredible parkways. You know, Buffalo is a great place. When you peel back some of the, the layers of the challenges that Buffalo is facing, you actually see that those challenges are opportunities. At a time where everywhere in America looks like anywhere in America, Buffalo has managed to embrace its place in history and to enhance and leverage its very significant natural, architectural, and historic resources to create a very unique space. You know, you go and you visit some other places and everything's the same because everything's new. Here we have a mixture of old and new and we have the mixture of the opulent and uh, the very simple. It, it all comes together here, and I think that also helps us be who we truly are as Buffalonians. So unlike the homogenized landscapes of America that we hear about so much in urban studies classes, this is a place that doesn't have any homogenization within the city. It remains this very original, vernacular, indigenous kind of place where people who came here, this is the way they developed because they were creating lives here. You know, we have a strong connection to the golden age of Buffalo and what neighborhoods looked like before and sort of caught in, this, in the struggle of the present to redefine them for the future. And I think the more that we invest in, you know, uh, these historic homes and neighborhoods, we can really do something special and magnificent. The conference for the National Trust is a defining moment to bring new eyes into this city, to bring new ideas to this city, to match them with existing ongoing work. You got magic in the making. October is a fabulous time in Buffalo. The weather is perfect. It's a great time to walk our streets. Every neighborhood has its own vibe and culture. If you go to Allentown, You'll have musicians in the street and you'll have open galleries that you can walk into. If you go to the Elmwood Village, there is a beautiful parkway that cuts right through the street and fantastic cafes and patios. And downtown has its own nightlife scene as well that's, you know, brighter and bigger and louder. Niagara Falls is a breathtaking natural wonder and it also sits on Niagara Falls Park which is the oldest state park in the country. It's a great place to come and have fun. The art galleries and the architecture and the food and the, the people. 
I think we are keenly aware of the rich legacy that we've inherited and feel that acute responsibility for preserving this wonderful place. Buffalo is a city of fighters. Anybody who knows the Bills history knows that we won't give up no matter how long the odds are, right? We're a Thurman Thomas city, right? You keep those legs moving and then eventually something's gonna happen, right? The yards come inch by inch. The grassroots organizations that are around here and the preservation crowd, I think that's the mentality that we're using is that inch by inch, yard by yard, we're gonna make a difference.